ini tuh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our hymn is number 200. The Lamb's high banquet we await In snow white robes of royal state And now the Red Sea's channel past To Christ our Prince we sing at last Upon the altar of the cross His body hath redeemed our loss and tasting of his life red blood, our life is hid with him in God. That Paschal Eve God's arm was bare, the devastating angel spared. By strength of hand our hosts went free, from Pharaoh's ruthless tyranny. Now Christ our Paschal Lamb is slain, the Lamb of God that knows no stain. The true oblation offered here, our own unleavened bread sincere. O thou from whom else monarch flies, O great, O very sacrifice, Thy captive people are set free, And endless life restored in thee. For Christ arising from the dead, from conquered hell victorious sped, He thrusts the tyrant down to chains, And paradise for man regains. Maker of all, to Thee we pray, Fulfill in us Thy joy today. When death assails grand Lord that we may share the Paschal victory. To thee who dead again dost live, all glory, Lord, thy 
time he will give all glory as is ever meet to Father and to Thanks be to God for his inexpressible gifts. Alleluia. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. All earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord. The Lord is high, yet he looks on the lowly, and the haughty he knows from afar. Though I walk in the midst of affliction, you give me life and frustrate my foes. You stretch out your hand and save me. Your hand will do all things for me. Your love, O Lord, is eternal. Discard not the work of your hands. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Thanks be to God for his inexpressible gift. Hallelujah. God is light, and in him is no darkness. Hallelujah. O Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O Lord, through and through. Behind and before you beseech me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit? Or oh, where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light around me be night, even darkness is now dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day. For it was you who created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb, I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth, 
Your eyes saw all my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. To me, how mysterious your thoughts, the sum of them not to be numbered. If, if I count them, they are more than the sand. To finish, I must be eternal like you. O oh God, that you would slay the wicked, and of blood keep far away from me. With deceit they rebel against you, and set your designs at naught. Do I not hate those who hate you? Abhor those who rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hate, and they are false to me. O oh, search me, God, and know my heart. O oh, test me and know my thoughts. See that I follow not the wrong path, and lead me in the path of life eternal. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. God is light, and in Him is no darkness. Hallelujah. They shall see His face, and His name, and His name shall be on their forehead. Hallelujah. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks and call upon your name. We recount your wonderful deeds. When I reach the appointed time, then I will judge with justice. Though the earth and all who dwell in it may rock, it is I who uphold its pillars. To the boastful I say, do not boast. To the wicked, do not flaunt your strength. Do not flaunt your strength on high. Do not speak with insolent pride. For neither from the east nor from the west, nor from desert or mountains comes judgment. But God himself is the judge. One he humbles, another he exalts. The Lord holds a cup in his hand, full of wine, foaming and spice. He pours it, they drink it to the dregs. All the wicked on the earth must drain it. As for me, I will rejoice forever and sing psalms to Jacob's God. He shall break the power of the wicked, while the strength of the just shall be exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. They shall see his face, and his name shall be on their foreheads. Hallelujah. assumed your great power, you have begun to reign, hallelujah. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power, you have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger, but then came your day of wrath. 
and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now of salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of his anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You have assumed your great power, you have begun to reign. Alleluia! From the first letter of St. Peter. The reason why Christ died for sins once for all the just man for the sake of the unjust, was that he might lead you to God. He was put to death in so far as fleshly existence goes, but was given life in the realm of the Spirit. He went to heaven and is at God's right hand with angelic rulers and powers subjected to him. Amen. 
Ego sum pastor bonus, Alleluia. Qui pasco obes meas, Alleluia. The Father has established in Christ the foundation of all our hope and the principle of our resurrection. Let us rejoice in Christ and cry out to Him, saying, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord Jesus, through your resurrection you entered the sanctuary of heaven to offer the blood of your own sacrifice. Lead us with you into the glory of the Father. Kyrie eleison. Through your resurrection, you confirmed the faith of your disciples and sent them out into the world. Make all bishops and priests faithful preachers of the gospel. Through your resurrection, you became our peace and reconciliation. Unite the baptized in perfect communion of faith and love. Through your resurrection, the crippled man was healed at the gate of the temple. Look on the sick and reveal in them the power of your glory. For oblates and future oblates and for benefactors. And thanksgiving for passing the fire exam. Next year's class for the Forget St. Thomas more and uh, for some special inventions. For those who suffer from mental illness. You became the firstborn from the dead, the first fruits of the resurrection. Grant to the dead who hoped in you a share in your glory. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray, O God, who restored human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings. Look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness, and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth. May you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And, and also with our brothers, brothers and sisters. Martyrology of May the 8th. Our community celebrates the feast of St. John the Theologian. The year of the Lord, 615, St. Boniface the Fourth, Pope. Through, this, through his charitable dealings with others, he extended the Roman Sea's influence in the East and in England. The year of grace, 685, St. Benedict II, Pope. He defended the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God against the Monothelites. The same day, the heavenly birth of a cloud of witnesses of every race, people, tongue, and nation who have entered into eternal glory. Remember, the most, most gracious Virgin Mary, that, that never was a that anyone who fled thy protection 
and before thy help, or sought thy intercession, was blessed of thy Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O virgin, to my mother, to thee, my God, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful, O mother, O Lord, O Lord, O Lord, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen.